Hey soul family, what's going on? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Isa. I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader. And I'm going to be doing the darn thing for Scorpio today. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and the cross watcher. You see that? The cross watcher. Okay, this is going to be from April 15th through the end of the month, I suppose. I kind of don't really know what the dates are right now because... You know girl been on lockdown for a hot minute but uh please keep in mind that this is very very general energy for you scorpio um i could be talking about a lot of different people it could have one very specific message the messages may resonate they may not resonate okay so take what does leave what doesn't um and if nothing resonates at all please check your moon rising in venus and if that doesn't resonate well, then I just don't know what to tell you. I'm kidding. If uh, none of those messages resonate, then definitely check another excellent reader that's here on YouTube because I just may not be your person this time around. That's perfectly fine. We know how this goes. Okay, we get it. So, um, and maybe check back at some point too. All right. Anything you need to know about me, the cards I use in the reading, uh, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff, including my website, you can find all of that in the description box down below. If at any point you like this video, show a girl some love, hit the like button, um, and go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this content. Okay, guys, we're about to get rolling. I'm trying to keep it short and sweet in the beginning. Um, so, Scorps. All right, let's talk because I got two fives out here. Um, so what I'm feeling very heavily here is um, first card out was the accelerated motion, things feeling out of whack, things moving very quickly for you guys. Some of you could be really feeling a lot of this like, oh my gosh, everything's just happening all at once energy. Is this because of the stars? Is this because of astrology? Is this because of the planets? what the hell is going on here feeling a lot of that energy of like things being very shaken up okay <clears throat> transforming why do I say that because I got two fives out here all right that's my transformational transitional what the heck is going on energy the first card that came out was the obstacles and challenges so I feel like some of you could be feeling like I was going one direction and everything was going fine and then bam roadblock something happened okay something got shaken up here for many of you i feel like it's your financial situation only because from a distance these look like um coins to me okay um what's crazy is that yes financial situation so many of you may be feeling that financial and material changes okay so stuff in your money maybe your job um, a lot of us lost our jobs i'm one of those people so scorpio you may have lost your job um, here in this energy all right but lots and lots of changes you're not the only person please hang in there Scorpio it's gonna be okay so we're gonna take a look at what's coming for you the next two weeks okay let's take a look at what's coming for Scorpio the next two weeks please spirit please tell us what's coming for Scorpio the next two weeks April 15th to the end of the month what does Scorpio have to look forward to what are the messages of love and healing and truth that Scorpio needs to hear. Please, Spirit, thank you so much. For Scorpio's highest good. Yay, yay, Scorpio, let's get it going. Scorpio, I feel sad too. You got the Four of Cups out, Three of Cups, and a Chariot. Mm. We got the Lovers. Oh boy, I did not know this was going to be a love read. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. The Sun, Jesus, Lord, and the Queen of Cups. Hmm. Okay, give me just a second here. Let's look at what the overall energy of this reading is because we're going to take it deeper. Once we start clarifying, the messages will become clearer. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what I'm feeling right now, what I'm seeing, and then I'm going to 
tell you at a deeper level. We're going to get more information. All right, guys. So hang out if you can, because a lot of messages be coming through. What's the overall energy of this reading for Scorpio? Please, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. Knight of Cups. So romantic gesture, somebody offering love, something to that effect. Okay, let's see. Why is the Four of Cups here? We have this Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here, Four of Cups. This is somebody who's not quite satisfied, might be looking for a new cup, might be waiting for something here. What's this Four of Cups about, please? Why is the Four of Cups here? Oh, lots of choices. Not happy. There's a lot of stuff going on here. You might be looking for a change, looking for something different. Okay, looking for something different here. So a lot of choices. Scorpio, you could have just been having a lot of fun with somebody, just partying, having a good time, but that hasn't quite satisfied you, okay? You haven't been quite satisfied with just hanging out with friends and, you know, partying, having a good time, chitty chatting, you know, enjoying the company of people close to you, okay? There's something else going on here. You, you want to do something else. There's there's this emotional, you know, um, it's like you have a lot of choices. You have freedom. You have a lot of things that you can do, but you haven't quite been satisfied with this. Okay. So now it's like I'm kind of making these choices right now, emotional choices. Um, you have here the chariot card, cancer energy. So moving forward, right? Trying to make a rapid change or moving forward very quickly. What are you moving forward to? Oh, the lovers. I think maybe some Scorpio here wants to have some sort of relationship. Maybe they want to have some sort of commitment. It's a partnership, all right? Some people see this as, you know, the twins, all right? Twin flame energy. So you could be involved with somebody who feels very twin flamey. We'll see. Um, wow. Ultimate happiness, the sun, health, happiness, joy. Okay. Um, and I see here, queen of cups. She feels a lot like this emotional fulfillment, this healing, like the cup is full. She can close it now. She found what she's looking for. Right. And then we had here, this knight of cups, this offer, this offer of love and emotion. Excuse me, guys. Oh my God, the coffee. Okay. So lovers, we have Gemini, uh, Gemini, the twins, we have Leo energy here with the sun. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's a lot of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. We have Cancer, the chariot. We have three, uh, four cards that are Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, five actually. So you could be dealing with somebody who's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this is you really in that like love. I, I have love. I want to give love. Maybe there's some obstacles here. Let's get a little deeper and find out. Okay. Why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here, please? For Scorpio, why is the Three of Cups here? Seven of Pentacles. So, you know, I really feel like, Scorpio, you've put a lot of value on friendship and having fun, um, maybe having good times. Uh, maybe you're thinking about, you know, investing into some sort of relationship here with somebody. Okay. Or investing in, in love could be, but pentacles are about value. They're about the material things. Maybe, maybe watering the material things. Maybe you've had a lot of fun and now it's time for you to concentrate on your finances. Let's see. Why is the chariot here, please? Death. Dun, dun, dun. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> it is death, though. This is a big change. This is a big change. Maybe for some Scorpio here, this is about um, slowing your roll. Uh, maybe some of you have lived um, just partying, having a really good time, not thinking about tomorrow, not really thinking about um you know, what's, what's been happening and now things are moving really, really quickly and transforming. Okay. Um, 
you could have put a lot of time and energy into just partying, having a good time being with your friends, okay? The lovers. Why is the lovers here, please? Why is the lovers here? This is a mirroring card for me, too. This is about shadow work as well. Why is the lovers here? The six of swords. Um, moving forward, right? Moving forward, it could be in a situation with a partnership, okay? You could be trying to calm the waters and move into some sort of relationship. Like now you've done your party and you've not been satisfied. You've invested a lot of time in your friends, um, having good times, right? But something's changing here. What's changing here is like the, I just heard investment in myself, but investment into relationships, I feel like, um, and moving forward uh, with love, moving forward emotionally, okay? Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here? Oh boy, we got the hangman and the queen of wands. So interesting fire energy again maybe you're shifting your perspective on what actually makes you happy here um so that could be what's happening um maybe some of you have invested a lot of your time and energy into money and partying and not really relationships this feels very much for me like you're shifting the nature of what it is you want in life okay maybe with what's been happening here um you know in just in in life in general with this sickness and all of these other things yeah look at here wish fulfillment on the bottom of the deck that's emotional wish fulfillment with the cups cancer pisces scorpio energy um you're now ready to like you know take an action about uh, changing your perception about what joy and happiness and health and, and, and these kind of things are. I think that's what's happening for you. You're transforming in this time. You're taking this time to look at what you've put your value on and what's been important to you in the past is no longer going to be important to you in the future here, Scorpio. You're looking toward a new perspective and a new fire, a new passion about what these cups mean to you what what this wish fulfillment these cups are okay it's an emotional fulfillment tell me about this queen of cups please why is the queen of cups here yep what i say ten of cups ten of cups it's about healing it's about finding your joy okay this could be with a person you could be coming to some stark realization that there's somebody you really care about and maybe you want to make a move with them okay with this this new offer this love this apology possibly somebody you want to apologize to and make it better you've had a change of perspective maybe with somebody for some Scorpio here, but I think this is wanting to, this feels a lot like I've lost a lot and now everything's moving so fast. There's so many changes and things happening here and maybe it's time for me to shift my perspective. Maybe I've been going about this all wrong. Maybe I've been investing my time and my energy into the wrong things and I haven't placed any value on my heart my relationships okay um so some of you that could be in a relationship this may be about healing that relationship taking the time now um dating making romantic gestures bringing that love um back okay and for others i feel like this is discovering something about maybe not have placed very much value on um, being in a relationship and now you're having a shift of consciousness in that okay so I want to let's talk about why this knight of cups is here though what's the knight of cups about overall energy what's this knight of cups really about though in this situation Page of Swords. 
communicating how you feel to somebody, communicating that you love somebody, being romantic, um, making romantic gestures, being honest, maybe with yourself or with somebody else as well, okay? So yeah, this is a time of you moving forward and transforming. What are you moving forward from? A life that maybe you felt very unsatisfied with. <laughs> maybe you felt a little emotionally empty. Um, you know, you had all of these options. You've had a lot of fun and you put a lot of value on people that maybe at the end of the day, it's like they're not really there for me. Okay, they're just doing their own thing. They're going about their life. They're this is transforming, you know, Scorpio energy. That's what you are the captain of things changing. That's the energy that you bring. That's you. That's you. You want to move forward. Maybe you're moving away from for somebody. It could be here that you're moving away from or separating, you know, moving away from. Uh, a very tumultuous relationship that you could have been in because you want happiness you're trying to see things from a new perspective or you do begin to see things as a new perspective here in the next two weeks and you restore the passion and the connection here with the queen of wands and uh this nine of cups you know it begins to feel more fulfilling because you shift your perspective here you start to see the good. You start to see the benefit of being in this relationship, okay? And this brings a lot of happiness. This is dating, communicating, talking to each other, you know, having fun, maybe acting with the kids again, okay? So for some people, this could be restoring the connection you already have. For others, it's about that inward journey of, you know, understanding what's important for you at this point in your life okay it's big whatever this change is it's big because there are quite a few major arcanas here which is great that's a big life change and i feel like this is going to be happening for a lot of readings because um, i've been having a lot of major arcana in pretty much every single signs readings i mean this is the time we're in right now there's a huge planetary shift going on i know people are like what a yada 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 i've heard it all but yeah you know the time that we have to ourselves and with our families and with our loved ones right now it is bringing some sort of um consciousness shift whether we have the awareness of it or whether we don't have the awareness of it okay so let's go ahead and get some cards from the psychic tarot of the heart and see if there are any other messages scorpio i just think this is very much about bringing something back um possibly you and the other person are feeling this way but i don't know why this feels so specific to you guys scorpio Spirit, are there any other messages we have here for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher that Scorpio needs to know for their highest good in the next two weeks? Plus the Lord. Anything else Scorpio needs to know, please? Very interesting. Okay, yeah, the 20 blossoming blossom it's a beautiful energy this is like taking taking what's inside and examining it right and seeing the light and the goodness in the situation that you have now things moving very quickly yes maybe your transformation is happening very quickly right now but there's something about you that is blooming it's been taking time for it to grow i do think you guys have been doing the dedicated effort okay uh base chakra energy um but this is about tapping into same thing here that safety that security um also valuing yourself is what i'm feeling from this making the dedicated effort to what the heck is that noise um making this dedicated effort to um partnership uh heal something right because you see he's like an artist and he's he's um painting this fresco right so if we want anything to happen we have to make that effort we get to be the artists in our life that you know create relationship here um or even heal it right it's us who does it 
So somebody could have been feeling a little bit insecure in this relationship. Insecurity could have been one of the things that's, um, you know, creating a block. Uh, it could be because of money and the situation that's happening. Maybe, you know, if you're in a relationship that both of you are kind of like, oh my God, what the hell's going to happen now? Maybe, maybe both of you lost your jobs or something. But there's some insecurity here with finances when it comes to stability. But you are the master, right? Especially with this eight, it's very spiritual, infinite energy, right? So it's like tapping into yourself to be the sculptor, the painter of your own uh, beautiful story. You then got the five. Again, this is neutral energy. The black cards are neutral. This is about teaching. So you could be in a position where you're teaching others or others are teaching you and you are the student here. The teacher card isn't always about teaching for me. This is about being a student uh, you know, in your own life as well because every teacher is very much a student as well. So you, somebody here could be in a position where they are learning. They are in the classroom of life right now. They are studying, they're teaching, and they're learning all at the same time. It's transformational, transitional energy. That's the five for me as a reader, okay? Anything else here? Anything else here for Scorpio, please? Any other messages regarding this spread? Any other messages? There we go. One more. Choose your battles. Choose your battles wisely. Okay. So using your intuition, using your faith, uh, you know, pick what you're going to fight about. <laughs> And do it wisely because not everything is worth arguing about. Not everything is, you know, worth splitting up a relationship for, especially when it comes to finances. We all go through hard stuff, right? But it's like finding the value in the love. I feel like that's one of the stronger messages here. It's about finding the value in what you have together with a person that you can make it through anything. You can move through the tough times that might want to separate you um, and you can heal this relationship you can heal this relationship by seeing things from each other's perspective or a different perspective Scorpio and you can bring back the fire the passion right um, and you can have your wish fulfillment okay look at this it's healing. It's complete and total joy. That's what's coming for you if you choose to allow it to come for you. Maybe you guys get to work together as a team, right? So like I said before, some of the energy we have out here, we have a lot of Cancer Pisces Scorpio. So you could be, it could be your own energy or you're dealing with somebody who's Cancer Pisces Scorpio. We do have some fire energy out here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? But for the most part, I'm feeling a lot of cups. There's a lot available to you emotionally. You just have to decide what that looks like and if you're willing to shift your perspective. You know what I'm saying, guys? Yeah. So this is the reading I have for you guys. I think you're going to have a profound shift the next two weeks, and I think it's going to be really, really beautiful energy for you guys, okay? Don't worry. The hard times don't last forever. There's going to be some obstacles and there's some shakeups. But we're going to be okay. Pick your battles wisely, okay, guys? Make sure you wash your hands, all right? And then hit the like button. And then wash your hands again because you just touched something. And then go ahead and hit subscribe. And wash them again. All right, guys, if you like this video, <laughs> I know I'm strange. If you like this video, hit the like button for me. Yes, thank you. And if you really, really like it, please go ahead and subscribe, guys. I will be back in another two weeks telling you all the things. Thank you so much for joining me, Scorps. I'll see you later. Bye.